I'd like to imagine that the early human beings, I'm sure many of them, not all of them, would occasionally look up and stare at birds and the grace of a bird in flight or when a bird sort of floats. And they probably wanted some of that action. And the reason I believe this is, first of all, look, we have aircraft. But also, from a personal experience, I do remember, and I'm sure some of you also did that, you'd climb a tree, not too high, and you'd jump out and you'd flap your arms, hoping to fly. Of course, you didn't understand the concept of uh, gravity or the kind of muscle power and wingspan you would need in order to do this. You'd have myths of people flying, so it felt like a reasonable thing to do. And of course, you try that and it doesn't work, and you try other things. Um, in my case, I was, I think it was around 11, and I was so obsessed with flight that I, uh, those are the good old days, I wrote to the Hughes Aircraft Corporation. These are the people who made the Huey helicopter that was very famous in Vietnam, very notorious in Vietnam. And I got all kinds of stuff from them. It, it was very strange. But of course, it was just that obsession with flight, and I think we all want that. So having found that we are unable to fly uh, on our own power, we began to build little devices so you could sort of bounce like trampolines and these over time began to evolve into greater and greater or, or you could get a greater and greater height so I remember in gym in school you had I think it was called a trampette where you sort of run and hit that thing and do some flip whatever I can't remember exactly how it worked but the sensation of just sort of boing and zooming up into the air was always wonderful and then, if you've ever been on a trampoline, how hypnotic that can become, even as an adult. I remember once I was on one of those big round trampolines with my kids, and we were just bouncing and bouncing and bouncing, it felt amazing. Or when you're on a swing, when you learn to swing back and forth, and the higher you get, the, the happier you are. So anyway, this photograph was at a fairground. Uh, in near Olympic, near the Olympic Stadium uh, in Amsterdam. It's, it does, I mean, it's all built up there, so there's no room for this uh, fairground anymore. But I was there. And you, I kept hearing all this screaming, this wild screaming. And I saw there was this like catapult device that would throw people up into the air. And sometimes they'd rotate slightly, but they would scream. This, that scream, not of terror, but of, it's, it's a sort of a mixture of fear and joy. And they'd come back and they'd all be super energized. And in one case, there was a particular scream. I, I looked and this young lady, you can, can't see her very well, but she shot up into the air. And when she came back, uh, landed back on the ground and, and was taken off that thing. Then all her friends gathered around, almost as if she had been on this faraway trip to this alien planet and had come back and she was going to tell them what it was all about. But it just made me think of uh, the reason this machine exists is that we do love to fly. And I, I don't mean fly as in, in an aircraft, which, yeah, I guess that's okay, but we need to feel that we're being shot up into the air. Uh, even with my granddaughter, I do that sometimes. I sort of <laughs> throw her up into the air, and she seems to like that a lot. So, um, well, I can still catch her, of course. Uh, anyway, yeah, that was just um, a case of somebody being up there.